SMU played its first home game over the weekend since COVID-19 began. They beat Stephen F. Austin, by the way. But when it came to the university's game day policies, not everybody was following the rule book. CBS 11's Brooke Rogers with the rest of that story. It was a big win Saturday night for the Mustangs, and Ford Stadium buzzed with school spirit, even at 25% capacity. But eliminating COVID-19 remains the bigger challenge, which is why fans over the age of three were required to wear a face covering. Many did not. I kept it on. Uh, it was like 50-50 of people who did, but we were all, like there were seat, there were places where you could sit and couldn't sit. They were all like 10 feet apart. But some fans crowded together mask free and not just while eating or drinking. SMU asks fans to sign a good teammate pledge, which includes social distancing and wearing a facial covering, though it's not contractually binding. The university says most students have also signed a pledge to protect, promising to limit risky behavior. I don't have any complaints. I feel safe. SMU is currently at a moderate operational level based on its COVID cases. It currently has 109 active student cases. That's down about 35% from the end of last month. Some of the 1,000 students who attended the game said masks or not, they weren't bothered. Oh, I totally don't care. Like, people can do whatever they want. It's a personal thing for me. Like, I'm just going to wear it because it feels right to me. But if they don't want to, I don't care. In a statement, SMU said if you watched the game, you could see that the majority of fans in the stadium behave responsibly and were well distanced and masked. We will be working to correct the behavior of a small subsection of student fans who did not follow our pledge to protect. They also said future student violators could face disciplinary action or lose their game attendance privileges. Other students say it's not worth it. I would just have them wear the mask. Um, I mean, it's it's annoying, but I think if, if everyone has to do it for, for now. Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News. An SMU spokesperson, by the way, also said that they will increase security and monitoring in the student section going forward. They also will add more questions in their contact tracing interview process as well.